Anthony Pelletieri from Stony Point, New York. I have a collision shop in Muncie, Ramapo Collision. Nin 1960 Buick Electra, uh, hard top, no post. A uh, little bit of a rare car with no post. What we've done with this is kind of did a little uh, modifications to it. We painted yeah. it with a flat black with a gloss black flame. Uh, we have air ride technology suspension. We put a uh, 1955 Chevy uh, spindles and everything inside of it so that when the wheels drop, everything is in line. Uh, we painted the roof with a Cadillac uh, three-stage white pearl. I had the interior done, um, shaved some door handles. It's original seats. We just did a matching black and white to match the exteriors. We did a radio, uh, did some, painted some chrome moldings, um, but the car for the most part is original. LED lights, all the wiring has been replaced. Disc brakes, we did some work inside the motor. Well, I have, I have, I've been coming for a couple years. Uh, this is my first time with the car here. We just finished it up not too long ago, so it's my first time actually having a car inside the show. What do you like about the show? Uh, a lot of people, a lot of really, really nice cars. Um, you can really see what, you know, what people put into their cars, um, which is admiring. Uh, it's nice to see that you know, the industry and stuff is still, is still here for everybody to admire. My name is Brian Harold. I'm from uh, Cold Spring, New York. Got a 63 Buick Riviera. I've had it about uh, three years. I bought it from a man in Las Vegas, Nevada, on eBay. Uh, I had somebody look at it who I knew out there. He actually called me and said, this is a good car, you should pick it up, because I was looking for a Riviera. And uh, you know, he called me, he said he had it, I bid on it, and we talked back and forth about the price, we came to an agreement, and uh, I got, ended up getting it. It was all original when I got it. The engine had to be rebuilt when I got it. And uh, other than that, it's the same way as I got it. Oh, it's been a fun car to drive. Uh, you know, have a lot of fun with it. All right, my name is Phil Pinkney. I'm from Yorktown Heights. I have a Pontiac 1989 GTA Trans Am. It is uh, powered by a 350 L98 engine. It's been lowered one inch, slotted brakes all around, original, all stock been repainted 10 years ago and I keep that paint classically amazing all the time. Anything else you need to know? Um, I like to drive it all over the place. It's a daily driver just about. I had it in my uh, collection for the last two years and um, I bought it from a, a gentleman out of Bayside. I'm a third owner of the car and it has 84,000 miles on it. Nothing's been redone on the car. The engine is fresh, original. And that's all I have. How long have you been coming to the show? I've been coming to Bear Mountain for the last seven years. I originally have another car, but this is actually the second year that I brought the Trans Am to the show. I love coming to the show. It's a classic show. These are classy guys up here. I love it. Great people, great food. All around, classic guys up here. Hi, my name is John Mongelli, and this is my 1969 SS Chevelle. It has a 396, 350 horse, it's an original air conditioning car. It's a four speed, tilt wheel, bucket seats, and it's a rare Azure turquoise blue. Not too many Chevelles came in that color. It was restored at a Coric Design in New Berlin, Pennsylvania. And I purchased it from James Brizzy from Peekskill. And I've won a lot of awards I'm at the GM Nationals and Super Chevy and the Adirondack Nationals and just an all-around great car, high quality. We love it, me and my wife. We're from Somers, New York. Um, it has a legendary interior, which is kind of a high-end quality interior. So matching numbers, 396, 350 horse. It's original quarter panels car was never rotted, just minor repairs, and I think they did a, a great job restoring the car. Okay, how long have you been coming to the show? Here I've been coming probably five, six years, 
and it's always uh, this last night is something we always look forward to. Um, it's a big night. They have the band. They have a singer. They they sing the national anthem, and they kind of you know really make it festive. How you doing? My name is Tom Forrest uh, from Putnam Valley, right across the river. I have a '69 Camaro pace car. Uh, my buddy has one off also over here. Uh, this car has been in my family since 1972-73. It was owned by a, <laughs> believe it or not, uh, a dwarf in the early 70s. It's a four-speed car. He couldn't drive it, so he's going to have an automatic put in, which everybody says, what are you doing? So he ended up getting a small block car. And he sold this to his cousin, and then my brother bought it for my cousin. So his, his, his cousin really didn't have the car on the road that long. So my brother bought it. I bought it for my brother in 91, so it's been in my family since 1973. Long, long time. It's a, original, it's a 30,000 original mile car, all matching number. Everything on the car is a matching number. It sat in my father's garage for almost 40 years. And then I got a hold of it in 91. And I could, my brother took it all apart and how he was going to repaint it. So I bought all new stuff for it. And it took me, the car was painted in 2012 and I finished in 2010. So it's, it's very dear to my heart. I drove in this car in the back seat when I was 10 with my father drive it. It was cool. Gives me chills just thinking about it. <laughs> Dad throwing the gears, my mom in the passenger seat. It was pretty cool. Definitely cool stuff. The boat is all stocked, a 396, 375 horse. Uh, it's the largest displacement you could get in a pace car in 69. So it's kind of rare. They made 3,600 of them, something like that. But most of them are small blocks and 350 horse big blocks. But the 375 is with a stick. is a, It's a pretty rare car. Um, it's got houndstooth interior, which they all came with that. And then some had power steering, power brakes, but this one's got brakes, steering. It's got a posi rear in it, uh, an M20, M21 uh, four-speed in it. Um, it's just, it's all go. <laughs> it's a nice car, real nice car. It took me a long time, but uh, worked every second of it. I have a 70 Chevelle convertible I come here with all the time, too. Long, since you guys started it, I don't know, how long has it been going? Since it was a dollar, yes, she's right. Since it was a dollar, I've been coming here. Absolutely. <laughs> Nothing against you guys, but whatever. It's, it's, it was a buck. Absolutely, no doubt. Long time. I don't live that far from here, so it's easy for me to come over. It's cool. Definitely cool. You got, you got to think about it this way. A dollar back then is probably worth ten bucks now. Yeah. You're getting a bargain. <laughs> I guess so. That's funny. Yeah, no doubt. What do you like about this show so much? It's just, it's just real easy. It's real relaxed. A lot of people were all cool. A lot of nice cars. The, the venue was, I mean, you can't buy it. This is, this, this is the best spot in the world. This is really beautiful place to have a car show. I get bummed out when it's going to rain. I call him, where are you going? We're going. We meet each other out in front and come in. You know, it's, it's cool. Definitely cool. That's Rick. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely cool. But you guys do a good job. Nice job. Nice job. Yeah, you see people from Jersey, you see people from all over. Really see a lot of different stuff. A lot of different cars, a lot of different people. Yeah, it's definitely cool.